Hello everyone and welcome back to Starship Creator. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This was another great suggestion by our friend Thomas Potts. Uh, since Starship Creator has the ability to use multiple accounts, we're going to create an extra account and try some things that you normally wouldn't want to try when you're trying to build your fleet for real. So let's see if it'll let me create a new account. There we go. Let's have John, I'll, I'll create the uh, account for Admiral Dunsell and then we'll go from there. Processing. Alright, so let's pick a ship to be our uh, sacrifice. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Sovereign class this time. Alright, so just pick a number at random that should fit for this class. It's so it's keep it simple. Since this ship's not going to be around for too long, I think. Commencing assembly for new Sovereign class. Starfleet vessel. Uh, we're going to stick with the standard uh, hull this time and get on to the, the fun stuff. Let's go quickly through the other steps. Processing. Assembling structure. There's our sovereign class all put together. Standard configuration. Processing. How should we name our sacrificial lamb? I know. Here we go. USS Burnham. Best choice for a ship that we uh, do not want to succeed. All right. Processing. Now instead of putting in a full complement of systems, this time we're only going to put in some basic ones. Of course, we have to have propulsion at least so the ship can be sent out on our mission. on our warp drive so it doesn't take too long to get there. We'll go for a lower level warp drive this time. Power. We'll go for the lower end. And some things, um, some things we'll be able to leave out entirely when, t when the time comes, but there are a few essentials we have to have for our ship to even be able to leave the star base. Basic fusion reactor. Small deuterium storage tank. Our distribution, lowest possible one we can have. All right. Auxiliary power, also another basic. Now, we're going to do no weapons at all. So we're going to completely skip our phasers and our torpedoes. And defense, uh, we're going to skip the shields, although we do need a navigational deflector at least, or we're not going to get very far. But we'll only put it at about 50% rating. Alright, science. Okay. No science, no probes. Just one basic computer core. Data network. Only have one option there. Communications. You know what? No communications. Who wants to talk to the USS Burnham anyway? Shuttle base. Nope. Shuttlecraft transport. Yeah, we're just gonna leave all that stuff out. Class M environment. I guess we don't want our crew to die immediately until we have something more interesting planned for them. Basic class M. Living quarters. Spartan for our crew of 10. There we go. Medical systems. Nah. Facilities. Yeah, who needs a crew lounge? Utilities. Let's go with a basic one there. Alright, turbo lift system. Complex. So our doomed crew has some way to get around the ship. And structural integrity field. Minimal, minimal field strength. All right, let's go over to the crew. Processing. If I remember correctly, that the minimum staff you have to pick for your ship to send it on a mission is captain, 
and a chief engineer, but you can leave the rest of them empty. So, Available crew candidate. So let's see, who do we want to pick as our captain? How about Ensign Shutup Crusher? There we go. Captain assigned. So and also, so we need at least the chief engineer. What's well, a chief engineer we don't like or we don't care about? I'm sure, we can find somebody annoying on here who we can get rid of. Let's see, who do we got? Don't want to put on anybody actually good. Wouldn't want to lose them. It's a shame I can't put Counselor Troy as an engineer, but unfortunately she's not qualified. You see, who else? I'm just looking for somebody to uh, jump out at me. Do, 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 do. Some of these names I barely even remember. Um, who, I don't know who this is. I have no idea that it is, so sure, why not? Chief Engineer, assign. Oh, she was in Nova Squadron? Okay, whatever that is. Anyway, moving right along. Fleet. Processing. So we have our USS Burnham. Let's send her out on a mission. I'm going to send our uh, USS Burnham on a mission to stop the planet killer. Uh, since we've gone over this mission before, we'll pick back up when we get to the exciting part. Warp engine's not responding. Uh-oh. Maybe cut the systems down a little bit too low. Anyway, carry on. Well, after a long trip, we finally made it. Even after going back and adding some uh, more systems, increasing the crew and so on, still our ship was only moving at very slow warp. Now we finally made it to the planet killer, and let's see what our uh, intrepid skeleton crew can come up with. Uh oh, Jupiter better watch it. R.I.P. Jupiter. The planet killer is moving on. What shall we do? It's headed for Sector 001. Because we're going to follow it at our very, very low warp speed. And we finally come up with our planet killer. I'm trying to scan, which is kind of hard when you don't install any sensors on your ship. Permission to make a high speed maneuver? Sounds dangerous. Absolutely approved. Aim for the mouth of that thing. Armed torpedoes. If only we had any. Engage. Hard to maneuver. Gravitational gradients. We're too close. Even a great crew. Looks like our ship got pulled inside. Chief Engineer has been killed in action. Oh, what a shame. And Ensign Crusher has also been killed in action. What a shock. And a tragedy. Well, that was a mission. Well, we're going to wrap it up there for today. Thanks everyone for joining us, and I hope you have a blessed day.